Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokulova, and thank you for joining me back here in Southern Victory in Hearts of Iron Falls. So the last time we helped the Spanish in their little civil war, now they're the Spanish state, the great victors of that war, and we are just kind of hanging out, building, and we did last time fix our economy. But right now, Long refuses to cooperate, and then we'll get into a few comments. In his meeting with Miss Colleton, Louisiana Governor Huey Long has made it clear to Miss Colleton, our unofficial representative, that he has no intention of changing course in terms of his relationship with the national government. Though this may seem to a, be a setback at first, we have carefully ca planned a counter to this that will become quite apparent in the next few <clears throat> hours, yes. And he's disappeared and gone bye-bye. So, Long has been killed outside the Capitol building in Baton Rouge by a black janitor. A pandemonium has now quickly spread throughout Baton Rouge, and the state government is in chaos. This will prove or provide the perfect opportunity for our government to reassert itself in that would-be rebel state. And here we go. Please, please, do not be demilitarized anymore. Hopefully very soon. Cool, a couple comments, though. Uh, first of all, the one that stuck out to me the most is don't build infrastructure in all the places. Build military factories you're absolutely right i will but i'm just planning that we're going to run out of places to build stuff first and i do want to make sure we have enough infrastructure to a degree so we can build these things even faster i'm only going to keep one line actually you know what let's start building one thing of military factories as well because that would be good to do right now uh, we're going to build them 100 percent oh, i love 100 percent do that cool 100 percent that, that those will be built very quickly cool Military intervention in Louisiana. With the recent assassination of Huey P. Long by a black rebel, Louisiana has been thrown into chaos. With no plan for succession, Long's loyalists bicker and government functions have ground to a halt. Renewed red activity has engulfed the state and even spread to neighboring states. It is this final fact that has been used to justify the president's declaration of martial law in Louisiana, allowing national troops to intervene in the state to end the chaos. This opportunity has been used to finally rid Louisiana of longest influence and finally ensure the entire state is under our control. Total political hegemony. A beautiful thing. The final key. Cool, a couple other things. Once we're done with this campaign with the Confederates, <clears throat> someone recommended I might play as Germany. I don't know if they have a unique focus street. They, they don't, so I probably won't. Uh, or someone also recommended I play as Austria-Hungary, which they don't as well. In time, I'm pretty sure they will get their own unique focus tree, which would be awesome. But right now they don't. Cool. But I'm keep. Don't worry. Once this campaign is over, I'm going to keep a very, very sharp eye on this mod because this mod has so much room for potential, so much growth. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Cool. Uh, 1938 stuff. Logistics might be nice. Military police could be nice as well. We're gonna grab some mortars though, and infantry equipment. Cool. A couple other comments. Uh, I asked you guys yesterday, what should our intelligence name be? So you guys gave me a lot of good things. We could use Rook, a Rook, but. I think with the path that we're going to go down, we're just going to call it something simple like the Confederate Intelligence Agency. Now, now I'm talking about paths here. Uh, I want to say, Snake, don't tread on me. That might not really be fitting. Let's go with an eagle, though. Cool. Uh, like I said, with the paths. To the disappointment of a few people, probably some, including myself, I, would, I really, 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 really want to go down the path of Revive the Golden Circle, but we're not going to go down that path in this campaign, first of all, just because we're on historical, and I want to see what happens with the reaffirm Anton ties. That being said, we I, could, I already sort of have the name for the intelligence agency when we do choose Revive the Golden Circle, and by choosing the Anton in this campaign, that means next time we play as the Confederates, we're going to go down and go really gung-ho with the Golden Circle. So I will come back to play with the Golden Circle eventually. I promise. I promise. Cool, anyways. Uh, right now, all we have left is the military stuff, because we're not at war yet, which is good. Uh, we could do some continuous focuses, but that's not really important. How about the Confederate Army? The restrictions placed upon our army at the Treaty of Trenton have left it in no state to put up any resistance to any forcible or forceful actions by any serious power. Our barrel forces were scrapped. The number of machine guns limited to a mere 200, and our manpower capped. We must and will overcome this if we are to have any influence in the world. Cool, and we need to... Ah, uh, Alliance is not in a faction. Golden Circle. Oh yeah, we get to choose right here. We can join the Entente. I, I, I want to. I will do it in the next campaign, I'm sorry, but we gotta join the Entente and see what happens. If they say no, then we would've just done that. Ah, but the British accept. Once more, our brave confederacy and our brothers in arms across the Atlantic, once more, join forces under the Entente Alliance for the greater good in a 
greater future for all. Once again, we fight as allies on the battlefield. Great! Wow, that's a, that's a lot of political power. Holy cow. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. War support would be nice. We'll do that a little later on. Ferdinand and Koenig might be really useful once we have non-core manpower. There's other comments I do want to get to as well. Right now, what are we doing? We... Well, we're not almost done with that factory already. Nice. Direct ground support, 1938. Go ahead and grab... Generation chance, air wing mission experience gain plus 5%. Oh, so I'm just going to grab formation flying. That's usually pretty good to do. And thank you. Let's come over here. Grab that. Keep focusing on the naval doctrine. What should be good? Cool. What, do we, what can we grab here? Anything interesting? Yes. Industrial concerns. Awesome. Confederate intelligence agency. Good, good, good. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's do another one too. Computing machine. Uh, you guys also recommended yesterday that I focus more on building infrastructure just in the states that give you oil and steel, which I totally understand. There's going to come a time, though, where we can't build any more factories. Ooh, did I miss that? I must have missed that. Whoops, my bad. That's okay. Whatever. It'll be all right. No, that's still, just still a little bit too ahead of time for us. <sighs> Active sonars, depth charge throwers might be really good to get. Um, You know what? I'm going to go with this. Just because I want our battleship to hit the enemies really harshly. Cool. A visit to Europe. Encourage attacks in the north. Not bad. Let's do this first. A visit to Europe to seem very peaceful. <clears throat> the British, French, and Russians are all eager to meet with the president to discuss the terms of the new Entente. Time to pack our bags. Very good. A couple other comments now. Include, eventually, when I get to war with these dastardly carpetbaggers in the north. There's a total of four potential peace deals depending on what we want. Now, my goal is to take all of the U.S., the entire... North American continent will be under us. I do not want a simple, easy peace. We just, we have to end this once and for all. Either we get completely destroyed, or we completely destroy them northerners. That's the goal. That is the goal. Ooh, elastic defense, good. I'm going to go with mobile infantry, because as much as I love breakthrough on barrels. What is this, tanks? What are tanks? Barrels, come on. This, we definitely need more organization for infantry just to help hold the line. I think that's probably mo just a lot more important for now. And before we get too far, uh, you say collectivist? I say mass arrests. Cool. So that's the goal. In this campaign, we're going to have one of the greatest conflicts known to man. There's going to be so much bloodshed that, man, every river is going to run red with blood. Anyways, though. Uh, visit to Europe? How about we encourage a few uh, incidents in the north? We have many loyal Confederate patriots living in the occupied territories. We should call on them to engage in partisan activity against them Yankee occupiers. And eventually we will get a plebiscite, eventually, where we might be able to get Oklahoma, or Sequoia, and Oklahoma, and Houston, and El Paso. Good, good, we got that. That's actually really useful. Um, the light cruiser attack, I might do that as well. Torpedo. Oh, I'm not really using torpedoes. You know what? I'm going to grab this. Just because I am, like I said before, afraid of the enemy's navies. Because they're not going to be weak at all. Just They're just not. And what are you missing? Rubber? That's all? Cool. What do we have here? That's it. We can just let time go on first. What do we have here? Commando? Okay. Army logistics? Well, that's okay. Army drill? That's division training time. Just going to grab this. Armor, tank destroyers. I don't ever use tank destroyers. It seems like maybe I should someday. Heavy tank, armor, and heart attack. Reliability. I'm going to go with more armor. Let's go with more armor so we don't get pierced. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think that's most of the comments from the last video, I believe. I could be wrong. Go ahead and grab the next guns. We might as well. Yeah, we're still out of guns. We're doing well on artillery, though. That's really nice. Really, really, really nice. Keep an eye on this. Cool. Let's go ahead and make a few more military factories. Like right there. And then... 100, 100, 100. Good. Southern Virginia. I'll, I'll leave one on infrastructure. I still want more civilian factories because we're going to need them to trade stuff away for more resources later on. Probably. Cool. Encourage attacks. Vilify Mexican landowners. We have many loyal Confederate patriots among the poor Hispanic workers of Sonora and Chihuahua. Unfortunately, for decades, they've languished under the mismanagement of the traditional Mexican elite. We must rectify this and in turn make valuable allies in those states. Absolutely. As you can see, I'm trying to push down here as fast as possible. And see, it says after May 1st, or May 14th, first hour, 1941, we can do Operation Blackbeard. In which we will go to war again with them Yanks up north. The Richmond Agreement, what is this? After 1940. Inviting the Yankees to Richmond. That sounds incredibly dangerous. Holy cow. 
Yeah, we're definitely going to max maximize this out. Maximize this first. Um, in the meantime, go ahead and just put three factories on motorized. We're making a few light tanks. <sighs> Honestly, I'm going to leave three. I don't want to, but having a few light tanks here and there should be okay. Man, we definitely need more divisions. Holy cow. I want to keep you guys separated. Go under... River attack. You might as well do that one. Daniel Ism Sultan. Very cool. Very, very cool. And y'all... Good. Naval air operations. Go and grab that last one. Vilify Mexican landowners. Cool. Let's go ahead and keep boosting up our army. So, return engagement proposal. Mass firepower. Proven theories. We're going to go with mobile warfare. Every time we've beaten the Yankees, it has been through swift and decisive action. The push to Philadelphia. General Jeb Stewart. Cavalry and Sonoran Chihuahua and even some key victories in the Great War. We're won by our ability to maneuver effectively. We must, in turn, adapt these new, no, te new technologies to help us push quick and grab us and stab a dagger in the heart of any nation who, who we find ourselves in conflict with. A whole one bonus. Oh, well, you know what my favorite pastime is? That's right. Cool. What is that? Total political he hegemony. I love it. Cool. Keep only one at a time. We're, we are ramping up production like no tomorrow. Woo! Central Virginia, good. Keep building more infrastructure. Just build more of everything. That's that's pretty much what we need. Empire. Oh, what is this? Japan? You're very violent, Japan. Especially for a person who, or a nation who, that's quite liberal. Ultra nationalists. Firefighting drills, good. Let's go ahead and start grabbing some of this other tech. Oh, uh, 38. Mechanical range keeper. Oh, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Go ahead and grab. I'll put. Yeah, go and grab it. Empire of Japan. The Republic of China. We could grab some more stuff here, but they're also. Well, they're authoritarian. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We. I'm thinking I might send some guys over. Yeah, why not? I'm only going to send infantry. I'm not going to send tanks just because I'm not going to waste time sending tanks over here. Send some volunteers. Maybe grab some more army XP. That'd be kind of nice. Cool. Alright, yep, they accepted. Violent liberals. That's what they are. Cool, cool, cool. Should really focus more on air power, too. But we only have so much we can do. Cool. Standing by. Any plane bases? Cool. North China. And... Chief of Air Force, ground, oh, plus 15% for ground support. Commerce rating, that'd be really nice, too. Um, you know what, can we raise our conscription anymore? No, we cannot. That sucks. Go ahead and that. It's fine. Oh, peace conference. Is that already? Is Japan done? Shantung was puppeted, okay. Ah, there we go. They've arrived. So, where are they right now? Up oh, there, here. Cool. Be led by a dude by the name of Hank. And Japanese Manchuria. You guys are at war with China, Republic of China, and Peking. Well, let's do this first. So, reshuffle General Staff. The General Staff's office is full of old fools unable to adapt and should in turn be replaced. That's fine with us. It's more than fine. Uh, come on, planes. Are the planes already coming over here or not? Maybe not. That's what I thought. Oh, well, we have one group already over here. There goes Peking. Well, they probably don't have that much air support anyways. Oh, uh, send you guys over here too, then. Well, you're right. Yeah, you're doing stuff. Cool, cool. Republic of China. All right, guys. Good luck. It's time to learn. Uh-oh. I got some guys not doing so well over there. Go on. How about down here? If we can... Maybe, maybe not. Well, stay up here then. Mm. And you guys are slowly making it your way down here. Cool. Still, 1.9 political power day. Super nice. Good. Almost getting there. Almost done. Just need so many more guns. Holy cow. Keep it on this. Let's go ahead and do one. Uh, right there, too. Cool. That'll be good. 142 factories, never enough. So, there we go. There we go. Oh, we're trying to attack? Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend not attacking right now. Reshuffle general staff, that's good. 
Infantry revaluation. Uh, industry armor. Support artillery. Let's go with infantry revaluation. Our infantry forces were at times during the last war completely overwhelmed by the Yanks. This was due to many factors, but we can remedy the manpower and production aspects by updating our soldiers' kit to make it easier for them to take on a more significant force, even when they are in much less in number. Good. Oh, wow, you're getting attacked like crazy. And you're not even winning. Oh, my goodness. You're learning a lot. You're pretty on defense, actually. You're getting attacked. Period. Yeah. Oof. You're getting attacked by 20 Chinese divisions. I don't even feel bad that we're not winning here. I don't even feel bad. Holy cow. That's a lot of dudes. And this could be a great, great learning opportunity. Cavalry brigades, I'm not going to get rid of those. I want to make these guys 20 combat width, but I need more divisions in the field first. Mobile infantry, good. Good, good, good. And it's happy 1939, my friends. Happy 1939. It's going to be a good year for us. It's going to be a great year. Uh, I might put you under someone else, actually, just so that you, you might be getting more stuff. Ah, I'll put it under Patton, why not? Patton's a man that can help us out. We might go with the division recovery rate, too. Maybe we'll see what happens. Give me some more construction speed. Please, please, please. Do that. Thank you. And then do that. Good. More, 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 more. You know what? Let's go ahead and trade away for this. Japanese East Indies. You know what? Let's help our ally out. There you go. Thank you. Infantry revaluation. Doctrinal visits. Artillery upgrade. So, the use of artillery was instrumental in the Great War, and we have reason to believe it will be in any future conflict we take part in. The fast fire and 75mm guns we used in the previous war are now somewhat antiquated, and we should now update our artillery guns to more modern standards. Absolutely. Ah. Uh, oh, another light tank. Cool. Actually... Oh, you have... Ah, uh, you are the garrisons, which is good. You all come up here. You do that. Cool. Y'all looking mighty fine. Courtney Hodges looking okay. Yeah. Old Ironside. This is 18 combat, with, which isn't terrible. I'm going to go ahead and make you guys a little better. By doing that, thank you. Um, Just go ahead and throw this stuff on. That's fine. Uh, that's. Oh, actually, do we really want that type of recon? You know what? Hmm... Can we afford this? You know what, why not? Armored Recon, why not? Is that better than this? Mm, does this give us any more benefits? It can, yeah. More breakthrough, so. Let's go with that. Get engineers. Cool. Train, fellas. Floating airfield, cool. Next up, grab that. Good, good, good. And, nice. Better guns. I love the better guns. Go ahead and make medium tanks, though. So really, we're going to need two lines of tank production, which is okay, you know, not ideal. I'm going to actually do, once we get the other tank, I'm going to lower this to two, which should be enough for what we need. For us and our needs. Ooh, do not get encircled. That would really be bad. How are we doing? Any sort of, uh, you know what? If we have too many planes here, just go ahead and leave. I'm going to send y'all back here, which would be nice. You guys get anything? Nope. Let's, less than 100. Don't even bother with it yet. I love that everyone's training so hard and well in, the, in our Navy. I love it so much. Woo! Oh, yeah, 1936 heavy ships. Oh, was... You know what? We're going to skip this one. We're going to go straight for 1940s. That'd be okay. Cool. Artillery upgrades. Good, good, good. Anything else we can do on the right? Nope. Anything on the left? Anything up top? Nope. And that's okay. Ammo research. I'm completely ignoring the Air Force, which I probably shouldn't. So the barrel is the way of the future. And though the Romboid tanks we used in the Great War were a great tool for the day, we need to improve the quality of our existing designs and work to make even more new modern examples. Absolutely. Please do not die up there. Good. Hank Coomer? That sounds really weird to say. You a Coomer? Hope not. Uh, infantry leader? Good. Organizer? Good. He's, he's definitely learning. Patton, I hope you're learning as well, because this is... These Chinese divisions, they strong. They are pretty darn strong. And do we have enough that we can do this? Yes, we do have enough planes to do this. Not bad. Not great. I kind of wish they'd improve their air base. Not enough intel. That's okay. Oh, wow, we were completely kicked out. That's alright, though. You know what? Just hold. Good. No longer do we have a reshuffled staff. We are going to grab next. We could grab that. It is 1939, though. I love radar. Let's see. Artillery first, though. So. Artillery first. Cool. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Pour your heart and soul into guns. This is the Confederate States. We love our guns. Every man a firearm, please. Thank you. 
Uh, yep. National pastimes. They never get worse. They only get better. Oh, yeah. They're actually pushing these guys out. Wow. Uh, that's a case. Go ahead and expand yourself this way as well, just in case. Don't lose Jinan. That'd actually probably not be good for anyone here. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that would be really bad. We, they might capitulate this little territory here. Armor research is done. Good. Technological breakthrough. Yes. In order to compete with our rivals, we need to maintain a technological edge. And in order to do so, we must open another government-funded research bureau. Do we already have the Confederate Institute of Sciences? I think something like that. I think we have something like that. Something good. Something great like that. Good. Uh, since we have the XP, let's go ahead and change up these Marines. If we're going to use Marines, they're going to be thick daddies. Thick Confederate Marines. Cool, cool, cool. That is an, not a very good division yet. I want them to pack a punch. I want them to just be unable to be obliterated. Like, these are the special forces of our group. So special, we ran out of army XP. Holy cow. Alright, cool. Keep an eye on this. Cool, cool, cool. We don't need to change anything just yet. More political power. Uh, Chief of the Navy. I'm definitely going to be doing convoy raiding. Uh, we can do that one, though. Since we... There's not too much we can do here. I'm glad we spread ourselves out a little bit more, too. Now we're in action a lot more. And we can learn how to become an infantry leader with Hank Coomer. 98% of the way done. Nine and nine. Oh, he's becoming a hills fighter, too. And he's a, an infantry leader. Beautiful. Um, for now, I think I'm just going to stick with Ambusher. Get even more entrenchment and recon bonus when entrenched, just because the war that's coming is going to be difficult. I'll be honest. It's going to be real difficult. We can do it, but it's going to be real difficult. Uh, we have... We'll do that first. Oh, good. Better artillery. Nice. Nice. The Ottoman Empire rejoins the Central Powers, which actually probably isn't nice for us at all. Oh, God. Come over here. Grab the radar. Arrest a couple a couple folks. What are we missing? More? Oh, we're missing stone. No, no, no. No, no. All right. So we got to save our political power. we got to go to limited exports. So it only costs 75, which is awesome. Mass mechanization. Oh, look at that. Increased barrel works funding. Yes, the vitality of the barrels cannot be understated. And given said vitality, we should divest more resources into their production. Absolutely. And actually, Bulgaria rejoins the central powers. Rising tensions. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Cool, cool, cool. Anything super interesting here? A lot of bonuses to, to technology. Some military factories down there. That's kind of cool. Uh, get some military factories. That's cool. Rule the waves. Naval Doctrine, which, by the time we get down here, we'll be done already, so. Cool. Take a moment. Come back over here. More military factories. We need more, 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 more. Oh, look at this. 100% infrastructure. These things will be done exceedingly fast, I bet. Go and do that, too. Do that first. Cool. Tons of factories. Tons, 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 tons. We have to be the, an industrial juggernaut where we are going. Oh, he's definitely learning. He's definitely being... A he's holding out even better now, so... That's nice. What is Patton learning? How to be a hills fighter, huh? Construction 3? Great. Resource extraction. Let's go ahead and grab that. We need it already. I don't want to spend too much time getting more steel. Go ahead and grab that for now, though. That'll be fine. We cannot... Impact our industry that much. We have to make sure that... We can build, build, build... Weaponry. Good, good, good. I, I've said this before. I love 35-day focuses. Thank you, devs. Thank you very, very much. I love it so much. Cool. Let's go ahead. Mass mechanization. Oh, this is good. Production efficiency upgraded. So, mobility has long been the largest drawback of infantry, and as of late, cavalry has become obsolete. The solution to both is me mechanized infantry. It remedies the high casualty rate of cavalry by adding armor to the equation and the slowness of infantry by its ability to move many men at once at a high speed. Get some half-track research. Nice. Can I invest in barrels? Where's my barrel investing? I got the PP for it. I want my barrels. No, I don't see it. Increase barrel works funding. That's a decision. Yeah, that's a decision. Cool, we got that going along. We probably don't need more fuel as much as I love mole and mole fuel. We probably don't need it. Uh, keep an eye on this. Good. Mark II Lee. Ah, oh, yes. After that great general. 39. I'm just going to grab that. that. That'll be pretty useful. Uh, let's come over here. As much as we need, you know, infantry equipment. 
I'm going to put you guys right here. Lower you down to two to start making some of these medium tanks, because they're going to be real necessary. Mass motorization and mechanized offensives. Good, good, good. Alright, barrels. Let's go ahead. Uh, we could probably change one to medium tanks. That'd be fine for now. We're out. Quite a few, quite a few. That's okay, though. For now, do that. And we're going to really ramp up infantry. Um, we need to defend. Holy cow. Leave on stuff like that for now. Cool. And let's go to limit exports. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. And we do lower our infrastructure, or uh, construction speed, but that's okay. It's a necessary evil. Ooh, look at that. So many socialists. What does this country come to? Oh, it's in Cuba. Mass mechanization. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, look at that. The Richmond Agreement. Oh, wait. At least 800,000 manpower in divisions in the field. That's not bad, but I want to grab this real quick. Production, efficiency, upgrade. So the Yankees have always had an edge on, on us industry-wise, and though it's doubtful we could ever have the amount of factories they have, we can make the factories we do have more streamlined to increase production. Production efficiency retention plus 5%, cap plus 10%, Efficiency growth plus 5%. Nice. Very nice. And now we got to raise our manpower if, if possible, but it doesn't look, look like we can. <sighs> That's disappointing. That's real disappointing. I want, I need, I, we need more divisions. 13. That's really not much more than what we, what we can already make. That is mighty disappointing. You guys looking okay. Frank M. Andrews. Cool. Better radar. Not bad. Not a bad thing. Come over here. We're going to use subs too if we can. They're probably going to all get blown up. But, you know, whatever. Mm, can we actually improve the subs? Oh, oh god, yeah, we can. No, I. This is one of the few, like, naval units I'll actually upgrade. Just because they're actually pretty quick to upgrading. Cool. Oh, another... Oh, that's another carrier. Oh, we need good carriers too. Um... I already have one on them. Yeah, screen-wise, this is not very good. <laughs> Select all. Cool. Suck you guys. Can you guys get upgraded? Can you guys get upgraded? No, which is fine. No, no. That's alright, then. Cool. Excavation. Nice. Uh, uh, oh, what was I thinking? We had to research something. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. We could get some more anti-air. Uh, that might not be too bad. Improved artillery. Oh, 1940 stuff. We might can start start thinking about 1940 stuff. This. Let's go and grab that first, though. Alright, another tank. Good, good. Those come, going to come in handy. Very, very handy. Barrel divisions. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Let's go ahead and do the Richmond Agreement. We finally managed to come to an equitable agreement or arrangement with the Union. Plebiscites will be held in all of our lost territories. Of course, we will do everything in our power to ensure they go our way, though. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, we still need more garrison divisions. We only have... We really only have this much? That seems awfully low. We only have five? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. How can we raise our conscription level? Um, we have to be at war? Oh god, we have to be at war to do that? Oh, that's... That is extremely limiting. Holy cow. That is not good. Mm, I don't know, man. If we're playing the Confederacy, Confederate States, we, we might need more manpower. Cool. With the passing of the amendment in the Tennessee State Legislature, the amendment is official. The seven words are no more, and the President of the Confederate States of America may now seek re-election as for as many terms as he may wish. This is a glorious day for our nation, and one that will be celebrated for years to come. Seven words have been repealed. A president for life. Beautiful. Tactical bombing. Let's go ahead and do that. We have so much political power, we might as well. Alright, cool. Arrest him. Ooh, expand or Do we need any more right now? We really don't need too much more. Oh, we're still... Oh, man, we're building a lot here. Cool, keep building. Look at North Carolina. So much infrastructure. Little Rock. And do one more. Ah, the Richmond Agreement. Good. And this will give us more manpower, too, if we can get some states out of, off of this. Chemical attacks. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Infantry weapons. Superior fighting force. Not bad. 
Manpower. Oh, he gets free manpower. Let's go Doctrinal Revision. So, a good doctrine can make or break any offensive. We should update our existing doctrines and develop them further. Cool, cool, cool. Inviting the Yanks to Richmond, reclaiming the territory stolen by, from us by the Yanks, has been a priority for our administration from day one. Though we speak of potentially using force, the military still reports a lack of preparedness for war, so we would prefer to stick to peaceful methods for the time being. In line with this policy, we have formally invited the U.S. President to Richmond for the first time in history to discuss potentially holding a set of plebiscites in the disputed states regarding which nation they shall be a part of, an invitation which the Yankees have accepted. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not enough factories, though. And the U.S. says yes, has agreed to hold plebiscites in the disputed states on the condition that blacks be allowed to vote, and the states we gain will remain demilitarized for 25 years. These are ac acceptable terms for the time being. Excellent. So much political power. Can I trade some of this political power for, like, manpower? Okay, so cool. So what we need to know about this is we have plebiscites. Uh, we got to have more support than the U.S. does in these regions. Now, we can suppress anti-Confederate uh, sentiment in these states, which might give us more support or might decrease our support. So, because we have all this political power, uh, we're going to actually lose quite a bit of political power, too. So, one, two, three. There you go. So, five, ten. That's, we'll probably get Kentucky. We'll most likely get Houston. If we don't get Houston, we got a serious problem. Now, we don't quite have the ability to get Sequoia. Hopefully, we can. That'll be actually very, very important. So, that's why we have to do this thing in Sequoia. Actually, we probably need to have to do Houston at all. That was probably a waste of political power. But then again, what else am I going to do with it right now except arrest socialists? Go figure. Uh, 1940. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. Just be ahead of the game. Next up, the thing we're going to research is maybe more naval doctrine stuff. We already have another one going on. We'll probably go with, that's right, planes. we got to be ahead of the time. And we got to make some carrier planes, too, because we don't have any. Look at all these military factors being made. Beautiful. Oh, we're going to make a lot of this stuff. Go ahead and do that. we got to save. Oh, we still have a deficit of guns? We're probably producing as many soldiers as possible. We have eight garrison divisions, which is better. Featherson attacked in Richmond. President Jake Featherson, or also known as Old Drew Durnell, has been attacked on his way back to the Gray House. Rogue Freedom Party stalwarts intercepted the presidential motorcade after it was forced to make a stop due to a wreck. The president, his escort, and his driver have been engaged in a firefight. As the shooting dies down, a crowd comes closer to the wrecked motorcade. Shoots the last assassin. Featherston is slain. Long live the knife. Nah, Featherston. Drew Durnell would never give up a fight. Never. Never would. Totally would never. He's going to win his battles or die trying, in which he ain't going to die doing it. Doctrinal research. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else? Nope. Cool. Chemical agents. Sign me up. Well, we'll do universal wireless communication. The civilian use of wireless has revolutionized communications, and given the relatively simple technology, we could easily adapt it for military use. Very, very good. And the oh, 1939 election. Jake Featherston has been re-elected as the president of the Confederate States of America on a landslide. A, an expected and great cheer result as our beloved leader now has the opportunity to continue his great plans for the future of the nation. And the reclamation of our bitterly taken territories seems imminent. Cool. Right now we sent it eight. Nice. Look at that. That actually really paid off for us in Sequoia. And that didn't do too much here. We might have actually lost support in Kentucky and Houston. But with doing the other stuff, it didn't even matter. Nah, that's looking good. So, Vice President Willie Nat has been found out as a perpetrator of the attempt on President Drew Durnell's life by rogue stalwarts last week. Nat had carefully built support for Featherston's overthrow since the repeal of the seven words among moderates within the Freedom Party and the Army, of course. This comes as a shock to the party establishment, and Congress has been quick to force Nat's impeachment, resignation, and arrest on charges of treason. Now Featherston's last legitimate domestic opposition has been dealt with, and the President is free to focus on more pressing matters. Six small years then. And we'll get to do this eventually again. And we lost Willie Knight, which is quite unfortunate. What did that do though? Willie Knight. I like this, but we can't quite get there right now. Cool. Even more factories? I think so. Cool. Even more factories. Yeah, you can leave one in South Carolina. I guess South Carolinians need their infrastructure too. Cool. Uh, let's see. Support. Oh, look at now. That is beautiful. 99% of the entire population supports us. What more could you ask for? 100%? Maybe. Maybe. It's going to be talking criminal. Non-core manpower at this point. I guess I might as well go with that. we got a whole. Not much more because we have nothing but core populations. But eventually, we'll have some. 
Cool. Go, definitely do uh, this one. Oh, they just raised it by one. That's not good. We don't have to worry about Houston at all, so that's good. Definitely don't have to worry about it. Convoy interdiction. Good, good, good. You know what? Because we need to rush this a little bit more, let's go and grab that one, too. Field hospitals. Good. Nice. New chemical agent. So, phosgene gas was used to much effect in the Great War, but it was too easy to counter. One just needed a simple filter to work through it, but there are chemicals that are harder to counteract, and we shall focus, in, shall focus on developing them. Good. Are we focusing on carriers? No, that's okay. Really focus on light cruisers. That's probably the main thing that we really need right now. Good hospital twos. Good, good, good. Do that one next. Keep an eye on the boat. Because even though this is pretty close, eh, if we just keep it this way, we still might win. Um, mm, Should I do another one? Suppress anti-confederates and sequoia. Ooh, that could... Oh, yeah, we have to do it. They're at 11 out of 10. We definitely have to do it. Cool. Yep. Absolutely. New chemical agents. I think we're doing pretty well overall. More military factories. Actually, you know what? Let's grab some naval dockyards first. Uh, don't do that. Do that right there. Cool. That'll be good. Build, 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 build. Only 167 factories. Oh, we're good on infantry equipment. We're good on artillery. Support equipment is surprisingly lacking quite a bit. Uh, grab some mortars, 1939. Go ahead and grab that one. That's fine. We definitely gonna need more of this. We're gonna need more of that too. We're gonna need more way more barrels too. Really emphasize those. Really emphasize fighters too after the barrels. That'll be good. Naval bombers will be incredibly important. Carriers, that's fine. We're not making them that right now. That's fine. Go ahead and do suppress it here as well, because that's gonna be incredibly important. If we don't win this next one, we are not gonna be able to get it. Happy 1940 though, and we shall end with have us a mass formation. So, even though we can never hope to match the Yankees in terms of manpower, we should still accept to bolster our numbers. And that's going to end today's episode, my friends. We have gotten to 1940. And we are slowly watching the world descend into more and more chaos, even though we are still helping them out, or helping out Japanese in China. Regardless, thank you very much for watching. If you liked today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, where we will probably end up in a war with them bloody yanks. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.